Hello out there! This tutorial is not about any controller using with Bitwig or Reaper, it's about Sample Robot. Sample Robot is a software I actually using for a long time since version 1 and this software is for yeah, a sampling instrument. So what you can do is you can either sample a real world life acoustic instrument or you can sample your keyboard synthesizers or your plugins. Why did you want to do something like this? I always use it for uh, doing my live setups. In my live setups I use only a sampler and nothing else and in the sampler I put in all the sampled instruments I use when designing the songs. This makes the live situation much easier. You only have to deal with one plugin if you use a laptop. But you can also use it for if you want to have some sound, sell an instrument, keep them or stuff like this. And the software tries to help you in with task and process. I started up Sample Robot already and what I wanted to do today is to get some sounds from my trustworthy cock prophecy over here and uh, it's only monophonic but it has some nice pet sounds but pet sounds only make sense if you can play them as a chord so let's see if we can get a sound out of it and make it play polyphonic in a, in a sampler. A sample robot is not so easy to get into if you look at it the first time but if you take a couple of minutes and try to understand it, it's pretty easy to do and it can help you in a process if you use the wizard so there is a wizard which takes the basic setup for you so let's first have a go at this wizard and it tells you what you need to do and so let's directly jump into so first thing to to give it a name so this sound is called here airworks why not and let's also say, uh, so this is uh, Cork Prophecy Airworks. And then next, so you can choose where you want to store your data. So, okay, let's say this is fine with us. And now you need to say, where is the sound coming from? It's coming from here via my Steinberg interface. So that's correct. And you can say what resolution you want to sample in. That's also fine with me. And you can say you want to have a full automatic recording and that's now the really helpful thing so automatic recording means uh, it sends a MIDI signal a MIDI note to the external synthesizer the synthesizer then plays a note and it gets automatically recording so the sample robot is doing the whole automation process for you and semi-automatic means you basically have to press a key and record the next one and then the next one so this makes sense mainly if you record acoustic instruments let's keep that then you need to tell him via which media output he sends these notes so my prophecy is connected to that's something which is not yet very nice that this list is not sorted so i hope this gets fixed in the future so you need to look output number six should be address here the cock prophecy you can tell him the midi channel one is fine and it can also select for you the midi program so if you want to sample multiple sounds uh, at once you can do that so you can have a setup where you say okay i want to sa sample all one to 127 programs in the year you can create a setup of 127 multi-sample setups and then you can record them in one go so let's keep this then you can say which keys you want to sample so you can go for a number let's say okay 61 is fine with me and you can say now also how much velocity layers you want to have so you can go up to the 128 so the full spectrum or let's keep it for simplicity and a time here it's only to one you can say what the key step so do you want to sample all 61 keys or do you want to say i want to sample only the octave so only each second key or things like that so let's say we want Want to have all so record everything now you can say how long the sample should be and it also gives you some hints uh, so it says oh you should do 12 seconds for pads which i think is a is a good thing and you can say you want also to record a release section i think we will program this ourselves so let's keep that with zero you can say i want to have an auto loop definitely i want to have that because sample robot is then doing the job for you for 
finding the sample point and I think he does a really good job, an automatic job in doing that. And the next thing is for the auto loop, how it should be detected and you have some choices here. Let's also stick with the default here. You can tell him where he should start looking for the loop point 50%. I think it's also fine with us. And so this will happen 50% if we have a 12 seconds length recording. It will look after six seconds for a loop point, which is more than fine, I think. And that's basically it. So we are set up. So you can now directly go into recording. But before we want to recording, I want to show you what Sample Raw is set up for you. So let's close that again. So you see now here on the left side, uh, you have your new created project. And this project contains one velocity layer. You can have multiple projects. Projects means each project is for every sound you have. Here you can have different velocity layers up to your 208, which is the MIDI spectrum. So you can also record them at once. And you can also add here the manually if you don't want to use the setup wizard. And here you will see the recorded samples. And also you see what is already recorded here and you see all the white notes uh, on and the black ones, so not the gray ones, are the ones are uh, who are going to be recorded. You can also change this here below and make these settings. So for example, now you can simply say, I want to record only 37 or I want to go back to 61. And you can also set here the step size we selected, then it will only record each third one. One thing is a little bit strange. Your hardware settings are for each uh, velocity layer. I'm not sure if that someone really needs that, but if you want to do that, you have that power. So for each velocity layer, you can have a different uh, hardware input and also the MIDI output. So this is the MIDI output we set, and this is the hardware input. And you can make all these other settings here as well for the recording, for the loop and these things, and can also tweak this to more detail. You can also send controller information, which was not part in the setup visit, for example, if you want to push up the modulation wheel in 120. 27 steps you can do that here with this controller view and create for each controller step here such a layer but this will be then much more work so now we're ready to record and you can call up the recording again if you click that one up here you will record all the velocity layers and if you want to record only one specific one you can use that knob so let's go for everything and then we are ready to record you also have some other options here you can say close this dialog when we're finished you can say you want to record only empty key symbols for example if you make some wrong recordings you can also override them if you uncheck then one and here you can finally start the process and for doing so you will get a countdown and it will automatically start recording so we'll see it plays the first note and it will record the first note i will not show you the whole process this will take some time so you see okay we have the first one ready and it automatically is going on to the second one and it's recording recording the second note. Okay, so you can also skip this process anytime. I will not wait and show you all 61 notes. That's pretty boring. So you can also go now drink a coffee and don't have to wait for that. So, but for the purpose of this tutorial, simply close that one and you will see we have all the recordings here now and you can also play them and hear them. And you hear the loop is also set quite nicely. And if you want, you can do adjustments to the loop here, but it's already pretty nice outside of the box. And the final step to do, always save your projects. Don't forget to do that. Or otherwise, if you notice the, the export is not so perfect, you can always go back and load it again. Say, let's save that as this is here. Okay, the name is already correct. Let's save this. And this last step to do is you can say, I want to export this. And there it gives you a lot of different options for different samplers which are supported here by sample robot and let's say why not do this as a sound font which can be read by different samplers and you have again more options to do resampling to a different frequency you can change your bit size and you can also change the channels you'd like to export and then you're ready to go and you can store it wherever you like yeah, that's basically it. I think a very pretty handy tool to get some samples inside your sampler. And I think a must have tool if everybody who wants to use a sampler. And if you created some cool sounds, make some funky music.